We're going to peel some strawberry popcorn today, or shuck corn. This is what strawberry popcorn looks like. Really cute. This one, I think, was not ripe. Is that the one? No, it's this one. Wasn't quite ready. So, it's completely white. Mm. Okay, I don't think you can see that very well. There we go. But the rest of them look really cool. How adorable is that? Strawberry popcorn. Here we have it. This took about four months to grow. Um, we grew it from seed and they get about hip height, maybe a little bit higher than that, I'm quite short. They did well with the drought that we've had, so I think this is a nice one for small gardens if you want to grow corn or mealies, whatever you call them, maize. I'm going to try popping this and let you know how it tastes. I think the young people in the house will really enjoy that. But they are really, really minuscule. Look at that. So tiny, but super cute. Strawberry popcorn. So this is some of the stuff that I've harvested today. As you can see, we've got the strawberry popcorn that we picked earlier. After I finished shucking the corn, there was this one, which looks really interesting. It's got multicolored um, kernels, um, white or cream and like a yellow one, which is quite something. So here's the white one that I shucked on camera I think and this is the spotty one which is quite cool all right and I've had a very good pepper season we are in the middle of it these are my habaneros from the raised hugel kultir at the back um, the hugel kultir bed these are much bigger than the ones I had last year I'm so happy about that I'm going to try and pickle them the same way that I pickle jalapenos. I'm going to use some vinegar, sugar, um, and some some spices like uh, black pepper cloves and so on. I think this will look very nice. And this right here is a pepino. It's um, marketed as a fruit salad plant by Margaret Roberts here in South Africa. This is growing out back near the swimming pool in a pot. So this is the first ripe fruit. At least I think it's ripe. It doesn't feel soft. I think it's supposed to be firm. I'm going to cut that open and do a taste test. Right here we have an overripe jalapeno. It's already got the corking happening there, which means it's going to be super spicy. I'm looking forward to that. Um, I think I may add it in the... Um, sliced pickled peppers with with the habaneros and this is something that I've grown for the first time this year miniature bell peppers this is capsicum cute stuff and as you can see it's about the size of a large habanero what I like about this compared with a normal green pepper is that usually when you're cooking 
you use like half the green pepper or a quarter and with these there's no waste you're not going to leave something half in the fridge and then end up throwing it out when it gets wrinkled this is like maybe two you can use as um a base for your your gravies or relishes and stuff and it's more than enough um if you use like a couple of them rather than using a whole big pepper and then throwing half the thing away forgetting about it in the fridge okay that is today's harvest